A Common Idiot Presents Monster Mania. Being the third movie that I'm reviewing during my Monster Mania event, it was only right for me to mention one of the best films in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, and that is number three, Dream Warriors. Dream Warriors came out in 1987 and was a direct follow-up to Nightmare on Elm Street 2, which didn't do that well, but Dream Warriors really pushed the envelope and really took this movie and this franchise to an entirely different level. The movie takes place right after the events of the second movie, a year later, following Kristen Parker. Now, because Kristen is being terrorized by Freddy, it ends up putting her into a psychiatric ward where she befriends a bunch of other teens who then also become victim of Freddy's reign. Now, what's interesting enough is they do bring back the original actress from the very first movie, Nancy Thompson, who is a intern therapist, and they tie her back into the story, which I thought was really smart. But what really makes this movie the best movie of the franchise is how they really lean into the dream aspect of Nightmare on Elm Street. Again, as I've said before, what's terrifying about this movie and about this concept is that you're not safe in your sleep. So the fact that Freddy can kill you is pretty insane, and they really utilize the dream aspect because in your dreams, anything is possible. We see how Kruger plays on the victim's weaknesses, or strengths for that matter, and how he can attack them. So, for example, the one patient who is a sleepwalker, Freddy Krueger decides to use his veins as strings like a marionette puppet and walk him to the top of a building and throw him off. That whole scene, I think, is one of my favorite scenes from the whole entire movie, just because A, the practical effects are amazing, and B, just how insane is that concept. The one girl who wanted to be a movie star and watches TV and was all into the cinemas, and Freddy comes basically out of the TV, grabs her, and, and sticks her head into it. There are so many other th other ways that Freddy plays on their fears. It's really grotesque, and like I said, the practical effects in this movie really bring it to the next element. Uh, when Freddy's the giant worm, and he's almost swallowed one girl, it's just crazy in every level, and it really pushed the boundaries of the dream world. So if you've never seen this movie, or if you've you've had to have seen this movie, let me know what you think below in the comments, or I definitely recommend you checking it out if you have not. And if you haven't seen it in a while, go revisit it, because it's just as wild as you always remember. If you like this video, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, take care.